Once you get to a, once you get to a certain level in tennis where you have your strokes pretty much defined, right? Your forehand, your backhand. Once they're established and you have confidence in your strokes, the next thing that really separates you from going up another level or two is your footwork. You watch the top players. All the top players have the best footwork because they're able to get the ball in the strike zone more often than players that are that are weaker. And what ends up happening is you end up having to either hit shots that you're reaching for or that you're jammed or that are too low or too high. Ideally, if this is my, my just like in baseball, right, you've got that little strike zone, this is the ideal spot for me to hit a forehand. The optimal place where I can make 95% of my forehands right here, then ideally that's where I want to get it, okay? So what ends up happening, it's very apparent to me when I watch you guys hitting, that you're not, you're not oscillating, you're not moving back for a deep ball, you're not moving forward for a short ball. So you watch the top players, and what they're doing, first of all, you want to start a little bit behind the baseline, because you're always looking for any ball that comes deep. Okay, so the first thing that any, any player is doing is they're on the balls of their feet, right? They're bouncing, they're prepared, and what they're doing is basically like a split step, right? You've heard a split step when you come up to the net, the volley, you split step, uh, a soccer goalie, right? If a soccer goalie is waiting for a penalty kick, he's not standing like this, right? Could you imagine if uh, the goalie for Brazil in the World Cup was getting ready for a penalty kick and he's standing like this? Okay, so you need to be standing like this. Gonna be like, dude, give us your best effort. You know, you might have to dive way up high to the right corner, the left corner, down low. It's the same thing in tennis. You don't know where your opponent's hitting the ball, so you always have to be prepared and balanced. And just because you get the ball in your strike zone doesn't mean you're gonna make every shot. Like I missed that one, but it gives you the best chance to make the shot. You want to give yourself the best chance at all times. So if the ball comes deep, my first move is I've got to come back, give myself my brain time to process. How fast? Is that out? See, so I'm coming back, then I'm back up to my ready position. All right, so I'm back, I'm back up. It's short, all right, I move up. I decide I don't want to go to the net, so I come back to my position. That's just too good for a guy at 45. So look at the way, you gotta stay on your toes. My heels shouldn't really touch during a point. Go back. Up, trying to catch that ball at my waist. Give myself the best opportunity. Deep, back up. Get a good shot, come back up. Then you get the short ball. Then you come in. 